how we come to religion. Now, obviously, I've said before that we don't want any divisive religions or oppressive religions like Christianity, which is cynical manipulation, or Islam, which is an equally cynical manipulation of human community. We need a Hindu model, a Hindu system completely. But we need to develop it. But basically, you know, we have day and night with the earth and we have the full and new moon, so we have a bonfire at it every full moon. And then we can have the presence of everybody there in, in the celebration. So everybody, so religion means to rejoin. And as I said, we, we start off focusing with our parents so we need to rejoin the community, rejoin our families, rejoin the community, rejoin the community of the spirit, rejoin the source, the spirit, the flow, the energy, the flow of love. We need to be integrated and flowing as an individual and as a community. And we can celebrate the joy of our life by having these regular festivals, as I say, a, a, a monthly bonfire, you know, different daily rituals, midday midday prayers or peace times, meditations, dawn, different freedom of religion. As I say, no horror stories, no black magicians, no satanic blood drinking, none of that nonsense some joy. We need to come together in joy and to share, to focus together you know, as a community. And if I was to suggest a temple, obviously I have, I have a dream of a temple made of purple glass. But a temple should be a place for the relief of distress. So if you're distressed, you go there and it's generally silent and still and protected and there's people there giving you that spiritual support that companionship of the spirit who are channeling that energy who are free in Brahman like who know the triple body we have a temple, you could have a yoga nidra, you know, sleep, uh, power sleep, power nap center. We have people who are ideally spiritualists, but, but meditators, calm people who supervise an area where people can have a, a nap and be healed. You know, they could not be allowed in if they, if they, if they aren't clean, if they smell, or, and they can be thrown out if they snore, or they could be rolled over, you know, by the attendants. But the attendants should again supervise, you know, each other, and keep the place calm and still from any disturbance. Then another centre in the temple we have free vegan food. So the basic nourishment, the vital nourishment, the ital food, the sattvic food would be available from the temple. So we can put money and resources into the temple to provide the free sattvic food, the same as the Gurdwara. It's the only model. Except we can have the sleep center as well as a temple. So we can have a proper place for the relief of distress. Obviously we can have a, a separate center for relief of distress for those that are you know mentally distressed, or if like a you know a, a more difficult cannot be handled within the community. And those people should ideally be supervised by spiritualists, not medicated. If you're a spiritualist, 
you can deal with people with mental problems. If you can't deal with people with mental problems, then you're not a spiritualist. If you want to be a spiritualist, then you can do your 10 hours a week helping the people who are mentally distressed. See, this is all part of religion. We're all joining together, so we can focus together so we can be joyful as a community and function as a whole and to be joyful and to raise our spirits up to heaven, to be a stairway to heaven.